Hello, everyone. I'm Kensuke Tanabe. I started from the GameCube version. So it's been about 15 years since I first became the producer of the Metroid Prime series. Today, I want to introduce you to the newest installment in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Being a new title in a series we deeply love, as a development team, we approach it with great passion and effort. Development on this game started in 2009. At that time, we started with the idea of developing a new online multiplayer-focused Metroid Prime title for a handheld system. Early experiments began in collaboration with our reliable partners at Next Level Games, who I had worked with on Mario Strikers for GameCube and on Punch-Out for Wii. We kicked off official development of them but at that point, we were working on the Nintendo DSi. And with the DSi, it became clear that we wouldn't be able to achieve the type of performance fans would expect. When we saw the new Nintendo 3DS a few years later, for one thing, we knew that the Nintendo 3DS would address our performance issues, and we were also excited about the expanded control options provided by the C-Stick. At that point, we decided to restart the project. We wanted to use this new game to tell the story of the battle between the Galactic Federation and the Space Pirates. I had always imagined battles between these two within the universe, but we had never really explored that in the previous games. I had been wanting to do it for over 10 years, so I was ready and excited to try. But given the focus on the Galactic Federation and Space Pirate battle, while Samus would appear in the story, it meant that she couldn't be the main player character this time. So, using the Galactic Federation soldiers as the main characters was the natural course of action for this game. Another theme we wanted to add to the game system was the idea, like an RPG, of players having the ability to choose their own distinct roles in the game, like a healer, a warrior, a mage, and so on. You receive certain types of sub-weapons from the Federation in each mission, and players must divide them among themselves based on a weight limit before taking them on a mission. So, for example, if you carry a lot of repair capsules, then that player becomes a sort of healer in the game. And if you take on all the missiles, then you become a warrior. I would love to explain more about that aspect today, about the character's art style, or why we created Blast Ball, and so on. But let's save that for another time. What I can say for sure is that Metroid Prime Federation Force is a game that absolutely belongs in the Metroid universe. That, I promise. Please take a look at this video. Samus Aran's solitary war on the space pirates terminated their phase on experiments on Metroids. But the galaxy is not at peace, recognizing a need to combat the space pirate menace. The Galactic Federation launched Project Golem, a top-secret program to develop mechanized battle armor based on the technology in Samus Aran's power suit. The most elite members of the Galactic Marines were chosen and put through intense training to form what would become the Federation Force. Their first mission is to survey the three-planet Bermuda system and reclaim an abandoned Federation outpost on the resource-rich planet Excelsion, which was devastated by a meteor crash 20 years ago, plunging it into an ice age. On Excelsion, all that stood in the way were mere ice hoppers. But then the team came face to face with a well-known threat they weren't expecting. Space pirates. Now the only way to survive is to work as a team, to master their mechs, and to take down the space pirates against all odds. mission isn't over yet.
Metroid Prime Federation Force releases on Nintendo 3DS systems late spring 2016.